Joining us now to review some of the headlines of today's newspapers from around the world is a rise analyst, a rise news analyst, Emmanuel Ifeni, and of course, Daya Shabwale, who is still with us in the studio. Welcome, sir. Good afternoon, Shaita. Good, Good afternoon, Vimbai. Good afternoon, Daya. Good afternoon. We'll start the review with this day, Nigeria's newspaper of record. The story above the mast head. Dangote eyes 30 billion naira, 30 billion dollars in total revenue from its businesses by end of 2024, discloses some IOCs, international oil companies, unwilling to sell crude locally used to exporting, says he will soon start making money from 650,000 barrel per day oil refinery. Yes, Aliko Dangote, mm -hmm. Africa's richest person, um, of course, he granted that interview to CNN, uh, where he disclosed that, uh, well, getting crude from Nigeria, the international oil companies who are used to exporting mm -hmm. are unwilling to change and start selling to Dangote uh, refinery, but of course, uh, not want to be held down by such. He has already made arrangement to import 24 million barrels of crude from the United States of America. And um, one problem he mentioned, that why Africa is poor, is that we export raw materials. And here is a situation where we are adding value to our crude by local refineries. Of course, the government-run refineries haven't failed us big time. But Dangote is insisting that, well, we'll refine our products here. And I think that should be the ultimate goal, that yeah. everything we export should be refined. Of course, he has also restructured uh, his organization in such a way that by the end of the year, they expect to earn $30 billion. Ah. Not too shabby. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. Uh, of course, the restructure, I'm sure, uh, of course, uh, investors will learn from Dangote because... Yeah, as you saw in such a that he is the group president. Mm -hmm. Then there's a group president in charge of oil and gas. Then there's a group pres president in charge of other businesses. Of course, Dangote must be um, a very good subject to study in the business schools across the world. Because and he, has he, made, made, he yeah. made, made a very revealing comment during one interview during the week that why Nigeria is uh, in, importing refined petroleum products. It's because those benefiting yes. from it are responsible for our inability to make the refineries work. And you get me? And to, to get the real profit we need from our raw crude. Yeah. Made, and this is the position to do that. Because it was, when they did that to him, that he started, Importing, uh, what it was importing from the U.S. Yes, crude. Yes. Of course, they expected mm -hmm. the, to get 21 million uh, barrels of crude every month from Nigeria. I it think just, government should act on this revelation. Yeah. Because this is a man in the field. He <laughs> well, has the experience. Well, you know, yeah. over time, uh, Dio, we have always known this. And don't that, write it off. You no, I'm not saying, saying right it now. until they do it. Yes. Huh. Okay. We'll continue. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, not as if are, they're, they're not God. It's not as if he's making a revelation those in government don't know. About. Yeah, but this is in the field. Uh, he's and voicing he, he's, it out. He has suffered as a result. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And it's, it's our own. Okay. If we look at the lead story of this day, labor grounds Nigeria plunges country into total blackout. Federal government labor reach agreement as Tinubu commits to pay above 60,000 naira. Union to meet with organs to more to more new deal. Tripartite committee to convene daily for a week. Leadership deficit is why states don't comply with 2019 minimum wage act. NLC declares CSOs shutting down national grid prisoners. Countryside, countrywide reports shows action impactful. Of course, the for once, uh, Dio, mm -hmm. uh, 
They've been saying, oh, labor the bar cannot buy. Yeah, yeah, but yes, you it see, is. I <laughs> was conceived. <laughs> yes. Uh, they, they can back and buy. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, it's all over. <laughs> when got, you yeah. see so many things not happening, mm -hmm. you just remember the strike is up. Yes, the so airports. They, they, they have the bite. The seaports. Yeah. And then government, Even the National government, Assembly. Yeah. And I, know of the course. Way, I like the way they dragged it on. They did not say immediately from the meeting that uh, the strike is off. They said they will go back to their people. They added a bit of bureaucracy there to show their strength. Yes. So it's, it's in the interest of government. Why is it now that it's the secretary to the government that is coming to talk to them? They should have spoken to them before mm -hmm. instead of the legislators. Mm -hmm. Whose salary is about 47 million per month is being bandied in social media now, compared to the, uh, the miserly, the miserly <laughs> things that yes. they are their own workers. Well, the, the outcome of that. I like the scenario. Yeah. The truth is coming out one way or the other. I think government should act fast before mm. things degenerate. We have one week. The way that it is handled, it is, uh, uh, it is, it is put in the hands of hoodlums. Like the other time. <laughs> yes, and there's a commitment from that meeting that government is ready, the president has given more, that, eh? to pay above 60,000. No, let me say come something. Back with like 63, this president, <laughs> when, you know, we discussed this issue yes. before. Yes. This president has said something that we can afford 200 now. I mentioned 200,000 there. But somebody said we can afford it. They should go back to that. Because I'm telling you, 100,000 will not be able to compete with uh, 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 497,000. It's half of it. Yeah. So I'm now, just putting something on the table. On the table. Uh, well, Sam, they'll be meeting every day for the next one week. Mm -hmm. So at least we expect that they should be able to arrive at something that, uh, an amount that is reasonable, that is not outrageous, uh, and that is not insulting. You don't think can be outrageous <laughs> compared to yes, the figures you know, of the legislature. Yes, of course, you know the ability to pay. But you of course, the organized work. private sector uh, is part the ability of, of it. Yes. Yes. Well, it's from the re re resources of government that these legislators are getting what they are getting. Yes, we we'll always point that out. I'm not saying we should compete with them in terms of wages. <clears throat> but at the same time, they can prune their own costs. I think a, they can prune their own I think body language is also important because yeah. I know some of those numbers started being shared after there was a statement made by the Senate president that after all, we're all uh, laborers. Mm. Uh, the the Senate president was, was the wrong person. Not to in send, good taste, yeah. given, Please. you know. So I think... They will have hardship allowance as part of this. They have uh, hardship everything, allowance. Uh, everything, so everything, our laboring is different. We can't say we're all laborers. Salary. Everything, the part, a percentage, a percentage of the basic slide. Well, I share. Well, they can do that for workers. Well, also, you know, we also have to appeal to labor because you cannot get everything now. Because yeah. After all, five years down the line, there has to be another review of the minimum wage. Okay. So what, what according to the are statutes. Making to labor? No, that... Uh, because you are defending the wages <laughs> of foreign exchange. <laughs> that. You are no, defending no. it. There is no way they can, you can use your foreign exchange to determine... No, that, what I'm saying is that, of course, they, can, the they cannot say they cannot say they are 474,000. So you know that now? They have to come down also. Uh, but you don't do that in the face of what they say the legislators are mean. <laughs> it's a provocative thing. My biggest See, is that we it should not be done at this okay. time. Let, let, let's look at how other newspapers yeah, yeah. are reporting the strike. Of course, by the way, the strike has been called off. Yes. Yes. Um, well, it's on hold. It's on hold <laughs> for one week. Yes. Uh, one right? Week now. Yes. For one week. <laughs> so, we are happy. But at least, not happy at least light will be restored today. I, that's what uh, I'm waiting for. Hopefully, hopefully, oh. hopefully yeah. announcement. Yeah, yeah, power, I don't need an that's announcement. That's the power of <laughs> then Super Eagles uh, players who are stranded in Lagos can fly to their camp now oh, and prepare for the Friday match oh. against South Africa. Oh, well, be no training. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, well, the business, uh, the Guardian newspaper reporting it, businesses grown as labor grounds, economic activities, while the business day newspaper, labor grounds, greed, ports, banks, heavy, uh, in heavy. blow to economy. economy. Okay, well, that if you just look at uh, one NSC. paper from South Africa, yes, the business of South Africa. Ah, what of yes. the, uh, <laughs> no. the headline of uh, this thing? There is a story about uh, uh, US, yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's not it. Which one are you <laughs> looking yeah. for? 
Okay. We have just, just 30 seconds we are, we are left. We are running out of time. After Trump's conviction. Conviction. Biden's okay, by this on trial. We ignore that. In fact, no, but I would have taken that I from the foreign that. papers. Okay, I take it okay. before him, people. Okay. Well, because we don't have time, just go back to um, uh, this day. After Trump's conviction, Biden's son trial in federal uh, gun case begins. Of course, former president being tried, son of sitting president being tried. Mm. He says something about mm. the system over there. What Nobody is, is above the law. Yes. What right? is good for the goose? Mm. It's good well, for that's the, the way you want to look at it. And that's the way Nobody you just at it. is above the law. What is good but for the business goose? day in South Africa, if you just put it over, ANC tests the water with rivals. No substantial negotiation ahead of meetings with I can brands. speculate on that. <laughs> and I quickly well, speculate yeah. on that. Okay. Uh, uh, ANC will not go with those people who are always wearing red. EFL, yeah, EFL. EFL. And, and you lost my lemma. Yeah, do not go with uh, Zuma's yeah. party. MK. So it's left. With, I wish we were allowed white, to gamble white. on air, Mr. No, no. Shobani, because <laughs> I would take you on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank if you so, so much. We have right to wrap up now. But thank <laughs> you. This Today's uh, news uh, paper review has actually been very, very, very um, enlightening. Daya wants a rainbow coalition. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what is going to happen now. <laughs>